Hey everybody, I'm Eric from ORV Explorer. This here is my 2020 Ram 2500 Power Wagon. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ram Box option that I chose to equip the truck with. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of them, the trade-offs that come with them, the daily use that I have of them. Ultimately, I'm going to try to equip you with the information that you need to decide whether or not they're right for you. Let's get started. So what are Ram Boxes? There are these proprietary storage bins on either side of the bed. They're lockable and they offer you convenient storage for the day-to-day -day items that you may typically store in the trunk of a car while still maintaining some pretty decent capacity in the truck bed for your utility purposes. The Ram boxes offer you security for whatever you choose to store inside as they do lock with the rest of your doors. Inside, they are lit, which is very convenient at night. There's a, a switch here if you want to disengage or re-engage the light, and obviously a little safety handle, just in case, uh, I don't know, a really tiny person chooses to get locked inside here. This uh, particular Ram box does have on the driver's side a power inverter with 400 watt AC plug. There's a switch inside the cab to turn that on or off. And a really neat feature on these is underneath this mat, there's a little drain plug in there. So that's convenient because you could actually fill these things up with ice and use them as, uh, as coolers, which makes it really convenient for tailgating. There are organizer kits that you could buy directly from Mopar so that you can conveniently store the items and keep them nice and organized. It provides you with a relatively watertight seal. I say relatively because there have been instances where I pressure washed the truck and I did find some moisture inside, but ultimately I haven't seen any uh, signs of moisture just from the, the rain or the weather. So I would consider that weather tight for sure. Now the obvious benefit of the Ram box is that they allow you to store day-to-day -day items in the truck like I said you would in the, the trunk of a car or things that you would normally carry like your, your toe straps, your, your shackles or anything else that you would want to keep in the truck on a day-to-day -day basis without occupying inside the cab. You don't lose any real space by going with the Ram boxes. You just tie it up in convenient lockable storage for regular day-to-day -day items. In my case, I chose to get the Ram boxes because traditionally in my old truck, I had a crate in the bed that carried a compressor, some booster cables, maybe even some extra windshield washer fluid, just the regular day-to-day -day items that I always wanted to have on hand. That crate in the bed of the truck would typically be tied down in some shape or fashion. And again, ties up some space. So whether you're tying up the space in the sides of the bed or you're tying up the space inside the bed if you want to carry those items they're going to occupy space how i chose to set up my ram boxes are this one here on the driver's side as you can tell i typically keep it pretty empty i call this my discretionary ram box so normally i keep it empty and i'll use it on a day-to-day -day basis for whatever i choose to put in it so if i'm picking up a couple groceries i could throw them in here if it gets a little hot and i want to take the sweater off i'll tuck it in here just to keep the cab nice and clean traveling with the kids it's exceptionally beneficial uh, we keep extra water bottles and anything again that i don't want cluttering up the cab i will keep it here in the driver's side ram box so it's quick and easy for me to access even if i have to pull over to the side of the road and access it here I, I would call that easier than going into the trunk of a car to get something that you're carrying with you moving over to the passenger side the way i choose to load this box i decide to carry those items that i said i always want to have with me in this particular ram box so i've got a safety vest uh, a toe strap this is the winch controller an uh, orange flashing light some boots for myself and my wife some gloves some ratchet straps uh, this is the Mopar safety kit that came with the truck. So just regular items. There's an air compressor in there. So just the items that are kind of pillars that will stay in the truck at all times. They've got a nice convenient location to store them in. I know where they are if I ever need them. And nothing sliding around in the bed of the truck or occupying the actual cargo space that's left over. Another pro of the Rambox system is the cargo management system that you can choose to option your truck with. 
What that gives you is the slatted sides as well as the cargo rails on the side here. These are adjustable tie downs on the track system that you can run all along the side of the bed and have tie downs wherever you want them in the truck. It comes with four of them. And it also comes with that bed divider that you can see right up there. It's currently in its storage position. So if you're not using it, you put it right to the front of the truck so it's not occupying any space. But if you do want to use it, you could take it out and put it in any one of these positions to prevent items from sliding around. I'll show you how that works. Now here we have the bed cargo divider removed from its storage position. It can now be placed at whatever position I'd like it to. So all you have to do is put it in the position that you want it. Again, it's completely configurable wherever you want to place it. Lock in both sides and then you have the option to lock it here so it locks in place. This here is a, is a key slot for your ignition key so that you can lock it and nobody can remove it without your say so. Now historically, this cargo divider did double as a bed extender. It would be placed something like this to extend the cargo capacity when you have your tailgate down. Now what's changed here is there's supposed to be some pins on either side of the bed that this would lock into and RAM no longer includes those pins. I'm not sure exactly what happened and what made them stop including them, but they don't include them. They are available through Mopar directly though, so you can contact your dealer and order those pins so you can get double use out of this cargo divider. Now the remaining usable bed space is still around four feet wide and Ram likes to advertise that you still can fit a four by eight sheet of drywall or plywood in the bed of this truck, even with the Ram boxes. They obviously do have a trade-off. The width of the Ram boxes uh, tie up the, the space that's less occupied above the wheel wells. If you're looking at the, the bed of the truck, you can see it's completely flat. You don't have the traditional wheel wells that you would normally have in the bed of a truck. And while some say that that's otherwise useless space, I don't know that I agree with that. There have been instances already where I've noticed the lack, or I shouldn't say the lack of, the reduced cargo capacity in this particular truck. Number one, while hauling an ATV. Uh, number two, even for loading the truck for things like going to the dump uh, or anything. Typically you can get some of those smaller items and kind of cram them in at an angle. Well, in this case, you definitely do notice the reduced storage capacity. You see one of my prop rods that's, that's hanging down there and that's because there's a broken clip that's meant to hold it open. Why did that clip break? It's because I tried to drive my wife's ATV in the back of this thing and uh, got a little too tight and broke the clip. There is a trade-off, definitely 100%. Now, can you fit an ATV in the bed? It depends. I did have her, her ATV, it's a Polaris Sportsman 450. I did place it in the bed of this truck and it fit, but it was real close. These cargo hooks, which we'll talk about in just a minute, uh, were kind of rubbing the tires as I drove by. So it's real tight, but I was able to haul it in the bed of the truck. Now that I've added this particular tonneau cover, these mounting brackets that stick out uh, just, it's just a little too close for comfort. The prop rods as well as the brackets to hold the prop rods for my tonneau cover, they stuck out too much to the point where I can no longer haul the ATV in the bed of this truck. Now when I say it depends, it's because it depends on the tonneau cover that you choose, if you choose one, and it depends obviously on the size of the ATV itself. To some, that's a deal breaker. Uh, to me, it's not. Being able to haul the ATV in the back would be an added bonus if I was able to do it. At first I thought I was, now I can't. Ultimately, it just means I'm gonna have to tow a trailer. To me, not the end of the world because I'm typically hauling two ATVs at once anyway, but it really is gonna depend on what you want to use the bed of your truck for. So another trade-off that you should know about are the accessories, or in this case, I should say tonneau covers that are available with the Ram box. There are some that you can get, but there's no doubt that your options are far more limited than a traditional bed without the RAM boxes. You'll wanna find a tonneau cover that allows you to open the RAM boxes fully while it's closed or it's open. And the mounting system is typically very different on the RAM box system. In this case, it's using the cargo rails to mount the cover. Now, like I said, there are still some good options for you. I know there's a diamond back, which is a great option if that's how you intend to use your truck. There's the traditional backflip 
and other brands that you can get that will allow you to, to use it as well. If you choose a tonneau cover directly from Mopar, let's say, that sits more on top and doesn't occupy inside the bed, you might still be able to get an ATV in the bed while enjoying the benefits of a tonneau cover. One more disadvantage that I should mention is there are no stake pockets remaining. So if you do intend to use the stake pockets for any sort of accessories, you're not gonna be able to do that with the Ram box setup. So while there's no doubt that it has its trade-offs, the Ram box is not a perfect system but it is very innovative and I think it's hard to dispute that. I chose to get them for this reason. While I understand that I'm sacrificing cargo space in the bed and I'm losing some of the abilities to carry extra items to the dump or an ATV in the box, like I had said, the pros to me outweigh the cons. And I'll tell you why. I use these things daily. Like I said, here on the passenger side, it's constantly full of the things that I would always want to have with me without occupying space either in the cab or in the bed of the truck. While here on the driver's side, like I said, I typically keep this particular one empty, but I use it on a day-to-day -day basis as I'm driving. It really depends where I'm going and what I have and who I have with me. Having this space has been really convenient. And I, I would say that I'm using this particular Ram box and at least 70% of the trips that I've gone on so far with this truck. Now the frequency that in which I'm using this is far more than what I would be using the bed capacity that I've lost by getting the Ram boxes. So yes, there's a trade-off and yes, there's a sacrifice, but to me, I'm gaining more than I'm losing, which makes it well worth it in my opinion. I understand that if it's worth it for me, it doesn't necessarily mean it's worth it for you. Like I said, it completely depends on how you intend to use your truck. So let me know in the comments below if you think the Ram boxes are a good idea or not. And if you have them, what do you keep in yours? As always, let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thank you for joining me. Keep on keeping on.